When She's All That came out, it quickly became one of the most iconic movies of the 90s. 1999, baby. So when Netflix decided to come out with He's All That, the world knew the pressure was going to be on. Influencer and internet creative Addison Rae had some pretty huge expectations on her shoulders, which naturally has been met with some criticism. So today on IO, we are here to inform you what both critics and Rae have to say. But before we do, do us a favor and slam that like button for us. It makes us so happy. It really helps us out. I'm your host, Rachel Fisher, visiting today on IO. I'm usually on Bumblebee, so if you do want to go check me out more, go. Check out that channel. But today we are here to inform you what both critics and Ray have to say as to whether she really is all that. So overall, it looks like critics aren't really crazy about this revamp of the 1999 cult classic, and criticism looks to surround Addison pretty harshly. This is her debut film to hit your living room screen, which expands on yet another aspect of her career. Addison Rae rose to fame on TikTok in 2019, and in the two years since, has gained over 83 million followers. Wow. And she's launched a music career and is now a budding movie star. Though the fact that she does play an influencer in the film doesn't stray too far from her roots, critics weren't too happy with the choice of making her the new lead. They missed Rachel Lee Cook, what do we gotta say? The film He's All That is a gender bent version of the 1999 film She's All That starring Freddie Prince Jr. and Rachel Lee Cook. And though the movie itself is cheesy, critics appear to be pretty possessive over it. When Ray was announced as the lead, comments sparked online claiming she didn't deserve the role just because she was a TikToker. Even with the nods they made to the original, the film has earned a 25% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. <sighs> Ouch. Critiques regarding continuity errors are among the scrutiny, but the biggest point is Addison's acting. Mary Solosi, a top critic on Rotten Tomatoes, had this to say. Even when little is asked of her, Ray's acting is not up to the challenge. Buchanan doesn't exactly deliver a star making performance either, but he's not even given a chance to. Oof. Unquote. Tanner Buchanan co-starred with Ray, who played the he who's all that, supported his co-star in an interview with E.T. He said, she came in, you came in working really really hard and you did a really really great job. I was just reassuring her throughout as we went that there were really really good moments and you wouldn't know you hadn't acted on set before." Unquote. In the same interview, Ray stated when asked what it felt like for this to be her first film and she responded that she was really happy with it and I quote, But I think a lot of people also don't know my background as much as they think they do. Obviously I've been in acting and people aren't really aware of that so like this is so random for you to be wanting to do this and I'm like no, I've really want to do this my entire life." Unquote. To her credit, she has performance experience in her background and has competitive dance experience from the time she was 6. Now that the film has been released, the reviews are out. Addison is skeptical that critics have even seen the movie and hopes that they will give her a chance. In another interview with her co-star, Ray said, and I quote, I'm excited for people to watch He's All That and actually form an opinion on it based off of their own experience with it. Instead of like, oh whatever, we think this is how it's going to be, so I'm watching it cause I've heard about it. And so you know what I mean? Unquote. In addition to the comments from critics as to whether she deserved this role, it was confirmed that Addison did audition and earned her way on her acting skills. So what do you think guys? Do you think the criticism has been too harsh on a movie that was at least partially meant to be a little hokey? Or do you think the acting chops weren't up to snuff and that they should have hired somebody different? Let us know in the comments and be sure to like and follow for updates on more content. I've been your host Rachel Fisher. If you like this video and want to see more of me, head on over to Bumblebee. Until next time, take care.